thorns. Love it. How you doing guys? Chris here. Well, you may have seen me talking about this earlier. This guy right here. So this is gonna go on a drone and we're gonna send it. Stay tuned. Well, we're almost ready. Let me take it out of the box, update all this software, make sure it's compatible with my phone and get it ready. All right, I got the air tag all updated. Uh, I'm just gonna measure it out, see, not measure it, I'm gonna weigh it out, see how much it weighs. Just curious, don't really have to. 11 grams on the dot. Let's try it again. Yep. 11 grams. I don't know, you think uh, the Titan XL5 can handle 11 more grams? <laughs> now I'm gonna use the Titan. All right, let's give this a quick line of sight. And uh, I gotta hurry, cause it's gonna rain here in a second. All right. One more try. I'm just gonna go to the end of the fence and back. I gotta beat this rain. Yeah, it's following it now. 13 feet. Check connection. 23 feet. To give you a good visual of what the drone is doing right now, I've got it about 25 feet in front of me and maybe about 10 feet off of the ground. As I slowly bring the drone back, it starts to regain connection. So I wasn't really impressed with how the air tag was performing, so I kind of just threw it in the high grass behind me, and then I went to go find it. And it performed a lot better this time around. So when I reviewed the video, I saw that when I plugged in the battery, the video transmitter seemed to be interfering with the Wi-Fi signal from the air tag. I'm gonna try to experiment with different places on the drone to put this so I get the least amount of interference. I got everything all set up got a small break in the weather so we're gonna try it so here's the setup I got the Titan with the air tag pushed all the way forward to get the least amount of interference and uh, I'll put the uh, GoPro recording the phone so you can see exactly when I lose reception and then I'll uh, screen record when I try to find it so uh, we're gonna crash somewhere in here uh, We'll see. I got the quad plugged in and already it's interference, even though I pushed it as far away from the source of the interference as I could. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna fly to the end of the fence, uh, see how far it can go, and then we're just gonna send it. All right, here we go. So bear with me for a minute, I'm just looking for a place to crash land the drone, preferably something that's not in a puddle or that small pond that's down there. So I'm just going to take a quick lap, look around, and uh, yeah, we'll go for a hike. All right, I think I found a spot that might be less wet than all the others, but we'll find out. All 
I wanted to get it in the cave, but it ended up fail saving on me. So I got as close as I could. All right, well, I'm in the woods. Crash somewhere around here. I got the phone out. It's no idea where it is yet. Probably because the battery's still plugged in and still giving interference. But uh, let's give it a try. Try to find this thing. Should be fun, right? Oh, thorns. Love it. There's the cave. Uh, I can hear my bait, my buzzer. So, what's the lesson learned? Oh, oh, oh. I got a signal. Lesson learned is uh, don't <laughs> fly without a buzzer. Wow. I am literally right on this stupid thing. And it has not picked it up yet. There it is. Oh, now it's working. Three feet. <laughs> Thanks. So as long as you're within, what, how many feet? Let's keep looking. In <laughs> 10 feet of this thing, you'll be able to use this. Well, guess what I won't be relying on when I lose my quad. All right. So what do I think about an air tag on a drone? I think it has a place, but it's certainly not for everyday use. I think if you're going to fly long range or if you're going to fly somewhere where you're going to crash and it's going to take you a long time to recover your drone, then you're probably going to want something like this because by the time you get to the drone, your battery will be dead, your self-powered buzzer will be dead, and the only thing you'll have left is this air tag. So if you're planning on flying three, four, five hundred 500 meters away from you, no, you don't need this thing. But if you're going to fly a couple of kilometers away or if you're going to do some mountain surfing, then yeah, this might be the only thing you have that'll help you find your drone. All right, guys, that was fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.